Let's take a look at this heavyweight tail of the tape. Nicholas Barakali, 30 years old, six foot three, weighed in at 234.4 pounds. Wagner Osha, 41 years old, five foot ten, weighed in at 208.4 pounds. press conference, Merrick Ali said to Wagner, toughness isn't the determining factor. He says, everyone's tough, but my jiu-jitsu is what wins matches, not my toughness. Yeah, I, I would agree with that statement. I, you know, he, he, he's, I think if he gets up on the head, uh, Merrick Ali, then Wagner on the feet needs to get behind him if he can. If he picks up the leg, we know Mirigali is exceptionally good in, in, with his Uchimata as a, as a counter wrestling technique. On the feet here, he's gonna need to find himself get, get, to get behind Mirigali, but that's, that's gonna be tough, because uh, these are not straight shots he's gonna have to do. He's gonna have to get a single, then get behind him, the duck under, get behind him. Agarosha, big win over Luke Griffith recently. A month ago, and now taking on Luke's training partner, Nicholas Mirigali. Man, they're, they're getting very chippy. In. Yeah, this is it. Mirigali reaches with that, that lead hand, so maybe that's a tactic where if Wagner can get underneath that reaching arm with the lead side, that's where he can get around to the back. Actually, Wagner's very good with his underhook here, too. There's the Uchimata, but Wagner likes that underhook as well, so he's very good with the underhook. Wagner defends and just laughed it off and said that was nothing. And again, the mental warfare that Wagner Osha likes to instill in his opponents, trying to get Nicholas to get emotional. One of the keys to victory here, Nicholas Marigali, as you say, fighting out of Austin, Texas, representing Team New Wave, training with the likes of Gordon Ryan, Giancarlo Bodoni, Gary Tonin, Big Dan, Luke Griffith, team full of monsters there. Yeah. Mirigali, uh, multiple-time world jiu-jitsu champion, pan champion, Brazilian nationals, BJJ stars, IBJJF GP. He's done it all, and he's 5-0 and oh in who's number one, coming off that massive win over Kainan Duarte in his last who's number one appearance. You see the talking in the match, Wagner Osha coming from Hollywood, Florida of the Wagner Osha Martial Arts Academy. First place, the EBI Combat Invitational, silver and bronze medalist at ADCC. Big wins over Ronaldo Jr., John Blank, Josh Hinger, three and one at who's number one. And he's had wars, he's had scraps at ADCC. He's gotta deal with these collar ties a little bit better, although he's, he always seems like he's in very good shape as Wagner, but. Mirigali is, gets heavy on that head, and he's tall. He's tall and he's heavy. He's six foot three, and he's heavy. So he's going to put a lot of weight down when he has these collar ties like this. Now Wagner is good with his underhook. Do you notice a different stance from Mirigali today, Sean? Just kind of, um, it just looks like in the opening minute or so, he, he took this weird stance with his arm. Kind of, I almost think I'm trying to figure out if he's trying to uh, bait. Wagner to pick up that leg so he can counter it with his judo or what's up yeah when you come forward with your hands in good defensive position you're trying to get your your opponent to reach to you to touch you and to open that up that's a it's a good way to enter you can just enter moving your forehead towards their chest to get them to put their hands out rather than you establishing or reaching overreaching too much maybe that's a, uh, the tactic that he was thinking he was going to use you got to be careful chasing Wagner down, though, because that you can use that as an entry, right? It's almost like a, a shoot boxing MMA entry. You get chased down, the guy just sets a half a step back, all of a sudden he times you when you're walking forward. And yeah. you can use that, Wagner can use that as an entry. Foot sweeps on this left side for Wagner. Yeah, and it's that tactic that, you know, got Wagner that big takedown on Luke Griffith. You know, just kind of baited him forward and just took a single shot. Didn't really pick up the leg. Yeah. 
try to like spit to the outside or anything. It was just a straight shot, got him down. And your blast doubles can come from there. When you're backing up and then you just drop your level on your opponent's entry like that. When Mirigali's walking with square chests. Headbutted. Dirty Finger. Like you may have just taken a little finger. I will say this. This has been the most time that Marigali has been on the feet yeah. in a match here and he was number one. So I think a lot of people just assume that this would be a shutout. But Wagner is not afraid. He's taking it to Marigali. He's coming forward. And, you know, he's, he's giving him some fits on the feet. Yeah. See John Danaher and Gordon Ryan in the corner of Nicholas Marigali. Waiting for the match to restart here. with his attempts here. He's definitely putting more pressure now forward. Space, getting the elbow tie. These are all good ideas for Wagner to do. Foot switch, probably coming here. Gonna watch the foot play here. Mirgali has good foot play. He's got it. There it is. Oh, there's the there's there's the attempt at the back. I think this is a key for Wagner on the feet is to get around the back. Nice arm drag. Oh, nice arm drag to the back attempt there by Mirigali. Again, arm drag with the foot sweep. Wagner dives onto the legs and try to explode up, but Mirgali is now on top. This is not where Wagner wants to be. He's going to have to unlock those hands and just try to get to a single to get up and out. The hands lock together. Here comes Kimura. Hands lock together, sort of marry you to the leg, which makes it dip more difficult for you to get up and out. Marigali has this position. Look at the footwork yeah. of Nicholas Marigali. This is not where Wagner wants to be. He's on the bottom of Marigali's. Walking the legs sideways. The next step will be this right leg sliding through the waist. And again, walking under the hips is always a good idea. Here he goes. Walking into that angle. Oh, now he's just walked up the, his main defensive arm. So it's not slide through and mount. Here it comes. Right underhook's pummeled up. Katakatami will be coming next. Marigali now progresses to the mount of Wagner Rocha. He's fully mounted. Underhook on this side. He's going to move. He's got katagatamis, he's got S mounts. Just he's also got that smother. He does. <laughs> Potentially. Depends on what he wants to do here. He might, he might, Wagner gave him the uh, he turn, so he gave up his back here. Body triangle by Marigali. I will say, Marigali just looking extremely focused in this match. Talking to the corner of uh, <laughs> Wagner. <laughs> now 
now he's got this double ice. He's going to isolate his arm. Wagner trying to get under the legs. Trying to bring that left leg underneath that foot right there to free the body triangle. It's got to also keep in mind the, his upper body needs to stay safe here. There's a hand around the neck. left leg, bring it forward actually, kick it underneath. As long as he's defended the, the upper body ties, he can get out of the body triangle. He could just set up a mount here as well, so. Nicholas with dominant control here. <laughs> Getting the arms around the neck, trying to seal the deer here on Wagner Hosha. Wagner got up and free there. Let's see if he can make an opportunity. I mean, this, this is the upper body, his upper body's free. He's got to free the body triangle and they'll be able to s spin out of this, but nope. That's a big man on the back too. With that body triangle, that's a lot of pain. It is. Very uncomfortable position to be in. You may see even Marigali just try to mount him, like force him back to the mount. He, Judges favor Red. He's, he's turning him back to the mount now. He can gift wrap that arm. And he's trying to get turn him back to the mount. So he's. And, and you know, the one thing with Marigali, he doesn't want to be uh, somebody that just dominates matches in submission. And, sorry, gets position and decisions. He has submission in mind. That's what he talked about. That's why he loves the rules. Who's the one rule set? Because it is submission only. And that's his game. He's always going for the submission. He can outscore you, he can dominate positions, but yeah. at the end of the day, he's submitting the majority of his opponents. He's looking for Katagatami here. There is a side Katagatami. He's about there. If his chest slides over, you lock your bicep. Let's go. And let's go, let's for the rear naked, minutes, rear naked choke let's grip. Move. It works when people are side on. He's almost has the angle there. He almost has that sidearm trap. Maybe you can go for a rotolatine. That's the <laughs> side Katagatami. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly what I'm talking about. The side on Katagatami. And uh, when the angle is Shout right. Shout out to the boys for their new submission. It's making waves. Yeah, they're just very good at it from everywhere. Yeah, which is. Three minutes, 38 seconds left in this match. But it's. Mergali in top position. Wagner mm -hmm. doing everything he can to defend here. Covers half guard. And at this point, frames and space is about all you can ask for for Wagner on yeah. the bottom here. But anything you do is just going to make your life a little bit more miserable because Marigali is in such a dominant position. Steps right back over. You might see Amir Gali. As it goes later and later, you might see him even try an arm lock here. Yeah. That, he got spun out there. Wagner spun off, which is good for him. He should keep getting his hip high. Push on that knee, get the hip high. Maybe he can run forward and out, but... Nope. Amir Gali right back on the mount. Let's hear the daughter of Jasmine Osha saying he's trying to set up triangle, but it looks like he's going for that arm. Nicholas Marigali with just over two minutes left, looking for the arm bar of that's, Wagner Rocha. This will be a better. first. Yeah, and that's better. He switched his feet. Now he's got his feet locked the better way. This is tight. He doesn't have to hurry. There, he got it. Nicholas Marigali submits Wagner Rocha in the main event of Who's Number One 23.
dominant performance by this young man. Very good job defending. Quite a bit of things going on, but uh, yeah. you know, inevitable. Miragali controlled so well. Miragali said he had a submission that he was uh, eyeing, that he predicted. He didn't want to say what it was, but he will in the post. -win. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by submission due to an arm bar. Look at the replay for this match. What a battle. Two monsters, two veterans, two of the greatest ever do it. Hosha was in it all the way till the end, but just Marigali was just too much for him with arm drags, getting top position, dominant passing, beautiful positioning. Just kind of picked his attacks relentlessly. Tons of control, and in the end, Got the arm bar, got the submission, racks up another win. Let's kick it over to Kendra Rusing for a, a word with Nicholas. Nicholas Marigali with a big submission victory on who's number one, just like you called it. How does it feel? Uh, I feel good. So, last match I had against Mateus Zeniz, uh, I called arm bar. And I didn't finish on armbar because I ended up taking the back and have the rear naked choke so clean. And that would be the submission I was hitting this fight and I just did it. Took me a while. Like Wagner is kind of way stronger than I was expecting for his size. And I had to cook him up a little bit. And I had this, the submission I was looking for, the armbar. So I called armbar before. That was what I was looking for and I just did it. Talk us through a little bit about the moment where you were on the back and you looked over and there was an exchange with the corner. What were you saying there? The crowd couldn't hear you. So they were talking shit about my English, but to be honest, for a guy that lives here for two years, my English is kind of perfect. And I'm just happy. I'm still not trading my jiu-jitsu skills for English skills. And that's it. And one really important question, I talked to Gordon about this a little bit earlier. You made a claim about winning the Open Class at ADCC. Do you feel that you've done enough with your game as you transitioned to Nogi in the last couple of years to be able to accomplish that? And your corner is very confident that you will. Well, uh, I think I have enough skills to win double gold this year. Uh, I cannot deny that. But at the same time, I'm still far away from what I believe is the perfect skill set to uh, display amazing jiu-jitsu on the mat. So I'm still having to work in a few things. We have three months to ATC. I'm just gonna stay at the gym. I'm not competing anymore. And I hope during this long camp, I get build my skills in the way I want for the ATC. We're sure you will, and we're really excited to see it. Let's give it up one more time for Nicholas Marigali. Congratulations. Dominant performance by Nicholas Marigali here at Who's Number One 23. The whole card from, from top to bottom, awesome night of action. You know, let's, we're gonna, we're gonna take a look back at the matches here tonight. You know, Marigali, Wagner Rocha, main event. We're gonna break down some of the top matches here. We saw Wagner coming out. You know, trying to get under the skin of Nicholas yeah. Marigali, but Marigali just, you know, the ever so professional. He was a man possessed. He was super focused, dominated this match, especially once it hit the floor. Yeah. Was able to get superior positions, controlled Wagner Rocha, didn't let him go from, for one second there. And uh, in the end, end up getting the R bar victory. Marigali wins another one here at Who's Number One. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's a testament to, to Miragali's progression, right? He just keeps trying. And uh, the co-main event lived up to the hype. We all knew it was going to be fireworks. The co-main event was a good one. Andrew Tackett and Tommy Langacker, awesome match. The young man, Andrew Tackett, just continues to impress everyone here. Just got some crazy unorthodox movements. Beautiful jiu-jitsu display by both these young men. And, you know, when he saw Langacker at the weigh-ins, he's like, man, Tommy's big. That means he's going to gas. <laughs> he was excited. Got to the back of Tommy Langacker, got the submission. 
goes crazy in the corner of his family and friends. Andrew Tackett gets another win here at who's number one. In our other featured match of the evening, we have the Battle of Legends. Rafael Lovato Jr. versus Felipe Pena. This was a very gritty match. Lovato with some nice counter attempts. Pena was able to get Lovato down. Had some nice leg entanglements from the bottom position. Both men pulled guard. Great work by both competitors. Lovato elected to try to change things up from his last who's number one performance. And, uh, you know, in the end, Pena wins the decision. Kind of dominated positionally, I I'd have to say. So it was a tight match. Yeah, one of the closest of the night, I think, as far as tactically goes. And then, of course, how could we forget? We had Nikki Ryan versus JT Torres. This match, you know, on paper, it was just amazing to see. These guys have never competed against each other. And, you know, Nikki Ryan shot on JT. JT shot on Nikki Ryan. They couldn't make anything happen in the end. Nikki with the deep shot.